Hey guys, what is up? Mikey Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. Just in here chilling, catching up on some Laker news. I see that the Lakers flight from China got pushed back, which is going to screw up a few things. I don't even know what to expect for tomorrow's game, who's going to play, who's going to be available and whatnot. Um, so I don't expect much out of that game. Uh, just catching up on some Anthony Davis uh, injury. I see that he expected to get an MRI. Don't know how serious this uh, thumb thing is, but that's going to get pushed back to tomorrow as well. Um, they said he got a grade one sprain, which was good, uh, which seems to be the initial reports, which is great. Then I saw some non-credible source saying that Anthony Davis could miss a month. I think they're just blowing. It's a non-credible source. I have no reason to believe that that's crazy. Miss a month? Man, if this injury is that bad, I'm, I'm going to break something. But let's just hope it's just a sprain. He's out for a few days and he gets back in a week or two. Uh, ready for opening day because that's going to just mess up a lot of things if we don't have him and we don't have our full squad but um we need to we need to we, we're starting to ramp up on injuries man this is not a good you know we already got kuzma quick cook daniels uh dudley now we got ad and things like that and uh we we gotta we gotta get healthy man we gotta get our guys rolling and um and that's all I'm focused on right now, like getting our guys back on the squad, just kind of like getting getting some conditioning up. But looking at the last, the first three games, it really pointed out how important Kyle Kuzma and Quinn Cook is going to be for us this year and how much we're going to rely on them. Because when you think of outside of that first quarter, when you had a healthy AD, a LeBron, a LeBron going, they're going to command a lot of attention outside of that when they go to the bench our scoring options are limited and the ability for people to create on their own, create their own shot, things like that is pretty much non-existent, which showed over these last couple of games. Yes, Rondo did have a big second game, things like that. Um, but outside of that, the scoring is very hard to come by when you got LeBron and AD out, which means this season is set on a platter for Kyle Kuzma because that's his forte, as he's shown his rookie season at scoring 16 points a game, and he showed last year scoring 19 points a game. He's a bona fide NBA scorer. He's hard to guard. He can score in a variety of ways. He can hit the outside shot. He's hard to cover around the basket. He likes to cut. He likes to finish at the rim, do a lot of different different things. Um, very Cedric Sabalos, I call him, like, you know, quirky style of, of just scoring in a million different ways. And we need that. And this season, in my opinion, is set on a platter for him to display that and really is set up for him perfectly to have a big year and secure his bag going into next season and beyond just to show how valuable of a player that he can be. And we really need that. Um, so I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, geez, like Kyle Kuzma is really the common denominator. He's the X factor for what, how we're going to succeed this season outside of LeBron and AD being on the floor. We need those two guys on the floor, and then we need a healthy Kuzma. But in addition to that, Quinn Cook. Um, Quinn Cook is a guy who I think is prime ready as well to display a lot. And it's shown that we need additional uh, ball handlers and folks that can create their own shot. And, and Quinn Cook is that. He's been through the ranks. If you think of like an MLB type player, he's been through the minor leagues. He's been been four years at Duke. He's been through the uh, the D League and the G League or whatever, and has gotten all those accolades, All Star, MVP, all that stuff in the G Leagues and stuff like that, and had some big games there. I think a fifty point game or whatnot, and then slowly worked worked his way through the ranks of the last couple of years or so. Played some big moments with the Golden State Warriors. Played two years with the Warriors. Helped them win the championship the first year. Played a good role-playing role there. And then last year had a bigger role and had some really big games with the Warriors throughout the season. And uh, played in that motion office very well to the point where Kerr trusted him a lot in the playoffs. And it shows that he's very mature. Plays at a high basketball IQ. He can hit the knockdown shot at 40% from three. He can put the ball on the floor and hit the mid-range shot. He can finish around the rim in and with floaters and things like that. So, in my opinion, just even just watch, just knowing that he's a he's a, he's above uh, the depth chart in terms of Caruso. Uh, a lot of people were putting Caruso there. No, Quinn Cook 
is either there or he's starting based on how limited of a scoring we have when guys are out. I think it pushes him even further and to the point makes him more valuable and go like, well, yo, we want to rely on you even more so. Um, so having said that, he's been through the ranks. He's been through the minors. He's ready for a prime season, in my opinion. And I think his points per game is going to go up. Um, and if you stagger him in with Anthony Davis, LeBron on the floor, that's only going to even open more shots for him. And you got guys like Dudley and Danny Green. Those guys are more predicated on other guys drawing the attention and hitting them up with open shots. They can't really create. They're not guys who create on their own. They're not those type of players. Troy Daniels is another guy who I think is a little bit more valuable because he can put the ball on the floor. And as you've seen, he can kind of create, um, you know, hit the mid range and things like that. So we'll also need to rely on him a lot more than I thought. Um, and so um, it really shows over the last three games. Just really, I mean, yo, though, it's it's we haven't been doing much. These last two games in China haven't been really, you know, we haven't really been focused, but it just shows how much how important those guys, how important Kyle Kuzma is going to be for this squad, how much Quinn Cook is needed, Troy Daniels, etc. And obviously those four guys can all shoot the three ball, and we missed those guys over the last several games. Um, I made a comment the other day, yesterday, talking about our back of the bench was weak, and people were like, Kuzma's not playing, Quinn Cook's not playing, uh, Daniels not playing, Dudley's not playing, you're overreacting. I said back of the bench back of the bench those players are key role players they're not back of the bench players all right so when i say our back of the bench is weak i'm not talking about kuzma quinn cook daniels and dudley all right those are key role players which is shown that they are going to be heavily in our rotation and relied upon this year to have big roles for us that's what i'm seeing over the first few games of this preseason and uh Looking forward to getting those guys back on the floor and seeing what they can do. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep my eye open on this AD uh, injury and see if uh, how serious this is. But I doubt it's very serious. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let me know how you agree with me. You think uh, this is really showing how important Kuzma and Quinn Cook's going to be for us this year and how much of a bigger role they're going to be asked to contribute and play this year hit me up man uh as always follow me on twitter i'm at mike sports Delight and instagram at mike sports Delight. and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe what are you waiting for we'll talk soon guys peace